What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back after 10 months with the SAB Comet version two. So you guys haven't seen this helicopter in a while and a lot has changed. So we'll start at the front. We are now on 16S, 8S and 8S, 4,000 milliamp, 16S. Still running the YGE 255 ESC, but we are running custom made mechanics. So these mechanics are made by Diego and Laurent in Germany. So huge shout out. Thank you guys for making these for me. All carbon sides, CNC'd aluminum, upper and lower bearing blocks, still MKS servos, X Nova, custom made 50XX 510KV. Got the West Hobby, Hobbies RC logo in it. You see right there. So huge shout out to X Nova for making this motor. You can see the whole bottom's cut out, four copper wires, set of two copper wire, seven millimeter bullet connectors, no more one-way bearing. So the one-way is completely gone now because of the power. There is a third bearing block down here locking the shaft together. I'll put a picture in at the bottom of the mechanics so you can see what I'm talking about. We are still using the retract. We are now on a V-Bar Evo. That is a custom-made fly barless mount that I cut on my CNC. It's a lot smaller and lighter. And then we move our way back here. We cut the top fin off the fuselage and filled all that in. We are still running our horizontal fin at a 16 degree angle. We are running SAB 105 or 95s on the tail, X-Blade 715s on the main, and we are running the custom-made tail mechanics. So they are CNC carbon side plated Kraken 700 pitch slider and bell crank. So let's go ahead, get this thing powered up and let's get the maiden flight in. This is going through the main, ready to get flights. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, I no, you can record, I'm cool. Sorry right, guys, so we are, are about to spool up. So we just went through, oh, we need to take the gain way down on the tail. Whew, okay. Nervous on this one, custom made. All right, let's just do one more final control check. Left, right, back, forward, positive, negative, right tail, left tail. Our blades are straight. We're going the right way. No more one-way bearing. All right, let's spool up. It's better now than never, right? <laughs> oh, 10 months I've been waiting for this. All right, 10 months, 10 months I've been working on this helicopter, waiting on parts to get made. Is this the maiden? Yeah. Hours. Motor on. Okay. Yeah, in flight. Retract. All right, so we're just going to do a pass. Just feel it out. Sixteen hundred RPM head speed. Thank you. Battery 80%. Battery 70%. Hear that echo from the screen? 2200 RPM. All right, we're gonna be easy on this flight, just breaking in these packs, feeling the helicopter out. All right, we're gonna put our retract down. Yeah. See it coming out? Yeah, retracts down. 
Yeah, you didn't know that? Whew, that no one way. All right, so we got to set it down a lot easier than that. That, that could have been bad, but um, I'm okay with that. Okay. So having no one way, the minute I cut power, it immediately spins it around. Whew, okay. Hey, that's part of learning. I didn't do no damage. Let's just make sure the retract's okay. That's pretty cool. That's cool. That retract is good. All right, let's uh, let's just check airspeed real quick, temperature, all that good stuff. YGE, we only use 1400 milliamps. Uh, let's see, BEC voltage. Let's see, temperature. Okay, let's go to airspeed. We just did 100 miles an hour, so we weren't even pushing it. Nothing crazy on that right there. 100 miles an hour, so nothing special. But there it is. So we got the maiden flight in. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> Nerve wracking. Next time out, we'll push it even harder, but I'm happy with it. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Take care and have a great day.